it's Quinn and I'm going to do another book haul vlog today. I didn't think I was going to do one this week because I didn't think I'd be picking up that many books, but somehow I still managed to. Uh, the first book I got here is from the library and it's Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. I've heard really good things about this and I'm excited to read it. I put it on hold and it came so quickly. So, yay, how pretty is that cover? Like, ah, oh, so pretty. I also have, um, my birthday was on Wednesday, and um, I actually usually don't request books for my birthday, but, so, but my parents did get me two books. Um, they're uh, kind of specific, but I got the Doctor Who Character Encyclopedia, because I'm a Doctor Who fan. Um, this is actually a kid's book. It's really quite funny when I opened it. I said to mom, I'm like, mom, we get these books at the library for the kids. And she was all like, oh no, it's a kid's book. And I was sort of like, mom, when have I not loved kids books? I'm a children's librarian. I read teen books. I read kids books all the time. And I kind of looked through it right, <laughs> right then. So it's pretty awesome. And of course it has, you know, all the doctors and my favorite, which is 10, David Tennant. He's the best. So I got that. And I also got the um, Doctor Who The Vault, Treasures from the First 50 Years, um, another Doctor Who thing, so that's pretty cool. This is about, you know, the 50 years of Doctor Who, and I'm very excited. I don't think this one is a kid's book, not that I mind having a kid's book, but it's got all sorts of stuff in here, and I always really like... Um, you know, learning about behind the scenes things about movies and TV shows and where the ideas come from and, and you know, what went into making this or that. So I am quite excited. So those are all my physical copies this week of books, but I did manage to pick up quite a few from Edelweiss. I um, went a little crazy downloading books. I got uh, whitelisted, as they said, from Simon & Schuster when I requested the Lizzie Bennet Diaries, or when I requested The Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennet, they um, whitelisted me. That's actually the term they used, whitelisted. So I can pretty much download without requesting any of their books that I want that are, of course, you know, on Edelweiss with um, digital review copies. So I did go a little crazy. Um, I got this one I'm really excited about. I got Winter Spell by Claire Legrand. It is a teen book. And it is a retelling of The Nutcracker, which is a ballet. Well, it's a picture book, too, or a, a, a children's story, an old one. Um, but it's also a ballet. You guys, I'm sure, have heard of it. And I love ballet, and I have seen The Nutcracker. When I was a kid, I saw it pretty much every year from when I was around three until I graduated from college. Yeah, kind of obsessive. I do, I love The Nutcracker, and I haven't seen it recently, a live performance of it, but I would love to see it again. And um, so I just couldn't resist. I love the cover. I want to read it right now, but it doesn't go out, it doesn't come out until, I think, December, which does make sense since it's about The Nutcracker. But, um, ah, I'm so excited. So I got that. And um, so I got Salt and Storm by Kendall Culper. There isn't a cover image for this, but I think there is one online. And this is a, I believe it's like historical fiction, but also fantasy as well. I think there are witches and there might be a love story. And you know I really like love stories. So this was at BEA and I decided not to pick it up and I sort of regretted it. So I was pretty excited um, to get the chance to read it anyway. Heroes Are My Weakness by Susan Elizabeth Phillips. This is an adult romance. I have been gobbling up her Chicago Stars series. Some of them, one of them I actually really disliked, um, but a lot of them I liked, and one of them is probably going to be one of my favorite books of the year. So when I saw this on Edelweiss, I could not resist. It comes out the end of August, I believe. It's not part of the Chicago Stars series, but I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Well, I mean, I guess it might not be, but I'm, I'm hoping. I have high hopes. I also got, there's not a cover image for this, but I also got Virgin by Radhika Sang, Sanghani, Sanghani, which was at BEA too when I didn't pick it up. I don't know what was wrong with me. Well, I, did, I didn't want to pick up things, you know, that I wasn't sure of. I had so many books. But this looks really good as well. I believe this is YA. So I'm excited to read that. And I got a, this is the last one I believe I picked up, and it is a historical romance called A Good Debutante's Guide to Ruin by Sophie Jordan. I read one of her historical romances last year, um, Heidi from YA Bibliophile. 
uh, gave me some historical romance novels to read. And um, this was one, well, not this one, but one of her other books, not this series. Um, I can't even remember what it was called. Oh, it was called um, How to How to Lose a Bride in Ten Days, something like that, by Sophie Jordan. Um, and I, I quite liked it. It's not my favorite historical romance, but I liked it. And this one looked really fun. So I got this from Avon as well. So those are, I think, all of the, let me just check, all of the ebooks that I got. Yep, so those are all the books that I got. Um, I had a pretty good week. My birthday was on a Wednesday. I am 31 years old, which seems insane. I don't know how I can be 31. Not that I think it's old, it's just I don't feel, I don't know, when I was younger I sort of thought, oh, when you're in your 30s, you've got things figured out, and... I don't feel that much different mentally that, than I did when I was like 24 or 25, so it's a little weird. But it was a good birthday, my parents took me out to Copper Top, which is this restaurant where I live, which I really like and I don't get to go to that often, and then um, they gave me Doctor Who presents. I also got this really fun mug that when you put hot water in it, the TARDIS disappears from one side and reappears on the other totally awesome. And a TARDIS bracelet, which is upstairs. Um, I should have brought it down to show you, but I forgot. Because of my birthday, I'm also having a giveaway on my blog. If you guys want to enter, you're more than welcome to. I'm, I'm giving away these two Gail Foreman books, just one day and just one year. And I'm also going to gift the um, the novella just one night. That will be, of course, an ebook because I don't think that's even available in paper copy. So if you want to enter, I will leave a link in the description box if you're watching this on YouTube, or there is a link if you're on, if you're looking on my blog, you'll see one in the sidebar up at the top, great giveaways. So I hope you do enter if you are interested. It lasts until June 30th, and I hope your week was good. I hope you brought home some fun books. I am going just in a few minutes. I'm going to go to my friend's house, and uh, she's having me over to celebrate for my birthday. We're going to watch Tangled and eat junk food and have a burrito for dinner, which sounds so good. So I will see you guys later. Bye.